Okay. Alright guys, it's KK4PYN here again. Um, got good news, Pixie works. Got it working late last night. Um, hooked it up to the uh, G5RV and heard CW. Now that was with the original crystal installed, which was this one. Upside down. 7.023. Um, like I showed you before, I made a modification of the Pixie where we can just plug in a crystal into the uh, here. Yeah. So that crystal is 7.07. Um, and what I've done is I just hooked it up to another, just a real short wire antenna that's outside. And um, got the ICOM tuned here at 7.071. And plugged in this as my key <laughs> for right now. Um, not going to put it on the air on the air because I think I blew up my. Uh, Opto isolator on my rig blaster here. Why is this flashlight on? There. But anyway, um, there we go. That's the Pixie on the air. Running on the 9 volt battery that it's on right now, they say it puts out 0.8 watts. Uh, until I hook it up to the tuner, which is going to be rough taking that out. I'm really not going to see any, um, any instance of that. But the two antennas that I got outside are only a couple feet apart, so. This thing could be a tenth of a milliwatt and it'd still pick it up. So, But at any rate, it works. Um, it's alive. <laughs> the receive, which I'll show in another video, really wasn't that bad. Um, granted, I'm going to be using it with a tone decoder, so you, know, you don't have to listen to all the noise because it's just going to be picking out the uh, the code the tone of the code so but I found the other uh, found the other capacitor that I needed actually I robbed it from a crystal oscillator tester kit that I had that was uh, C11 here <laughs> but it works um, I'm glad that the mod for this crystal here works. I could have put a socket in. I just didn't have one. I just had this laying around and it lined up perfectly with the holes in the board for the crystal. So now I can plug in any type of crystal I want. Um, I don't know how much it affects the receive performance or the transmit performance but I've seen other guys with uh, radios built up with crystals sticking way out with the legs full length you know or they haven't chopped the legs down so I um, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. So, at any rate, as soon as I get the uh, the rig blaster working here, we can use uh, CW Get here, which is a program that. Uh, hello, oh, there we go. Uh, CW Get is a program that came on the rig blaster um, CD. Uh, you can download it too. Uh, it'll basically let you do keyboard CW through the serial port. And then this is the uh, PL2302 USB serial emulator or virtual COM port, whatever you want to call it. And I um, built a cable for this radio for the rig blaster, which is uh, RG45 on one end. Eighth inch mono on the other. The problem is, and I talked to um, 
Shalto at Rig Blaster, who I've talked to on the phone for a couple days now. Fantastic company to work with. The Opto Isolator here, which is the CN17-3, or CNY17-3, can only sink about 10 or 15 milliamps. Um, and from the way I understand it, the entire current of this radio, finals and all, is going through the key jack. So this is not going to key that radio. Um, I was experimenting with a, uh, what is this, a 2N, I don't know if you can see it there, 2N3906, trying to breadboard a little transistor circuit here, and um, so I think I accidentally put power back to the opto isolator, and yeah. Because now it's not working. I was able to test this simply by, um, you know, jumpering it and using an LED. And uh, I could see this switching the LED uh, as I type code on the, on the, into CW type there. So, but yeah, so I think I blew up my rig blaster. Um, I'm just going to order a new CN17-3 opto isolator here. Uh... That's this deal, optocoupler, and um, I'll socket that board. And Shalto actually sent me this document, which says that there's a solid state relay that is um, same package, um, and you just have to change around a couple pins. Which is easy to do when um, when you're using a socket. So I'm going to order one of these Onron uh, G3VM-61B1, which is a solid state relay. Um, I already looked those up; they're easy to get, Mauser. And that way I can go back and forth between the two because I still want to use the Rig Blaster on the Icon here. So I can just jumper that over, and then it came with the, uh, well, I don't know where it is now, but it came with the 8-pin mic adapter to RJ45, and I've already hooked that up. It works fantastic. I, I can use FL Digi to send out any type of digital mode I want on my ICOM, so um, that's fantastic. I think for this radio... Um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to order a, a Morse Duino and, uh, you know, I'll find some other ways. But I think I'm going to go a little bit simpler with this versus, you know, this isn't going to be the radio that I take into the field. <laughs> it, it might, you never know. But I think this is going to end up being a beacon. Um, so I want to build another small board either with a pick or an Arduino or something like that. It'll just sit there and, and bang out code on this thing all day. This was only $5. This is an experiment. Now I know it works. And I'll use it to perfect my keying circuit. And then um, I might build like a rock mite or a uh, um, QRP me has a pixie. They, they call the sudden squall. And it has like pluggable band modules and it'll do RIT and stuff like that, which might help out, but either way. So that's where we are. The Pixie works. Um, easy to build. Um, some of the pads are really small. I actually have to go back through this and redo some of these solder joints because I didn't have a big enough tip on my iron. Um, like with the BNC jack, you know. So, uh, solder pads are a little bit small, and I didn't clean the board beforehand, so it, some, of the, some of the pads were giving me a problem, but at any rate, when I first hooked it up, I hooked it up to um, my 12-volt power rail here in the shack, and it just, the noise was off the charts. Um, so, definitely need to run it off a battery. Um, probably end up burning it off a 12 volt battery because they say at 12 volts it gives you 
1.2 watts so right now I've just got the 9 volt with the little adapter on it there but anyway that's where we are it works um, I'm happy it worked first time I didn't have to adjust anything um, I guess with the little pot here you can it'll give you a little bit of tune up and down but that's it that's the pixie it's uh, six less than seven dollars shipped it was 547 from that eBay seller that I showed you and uh, 99 cents shipping from California so I assume it got here a lot faster than it would doing the three dollars and fifty six for what I'm sure is the exact same kit from China with free e-packet shipping but whatever I bought it from a guy in California built it it works so as soon as I get the uh, rig blaster up and running and get it sending out some code I don't want to put it on a good antenna and 12 volts and start transmitting garbage all over the airwaves um, we'll get that up and running and that'll be it and then we'll move on to the next one which will probably be the rock might or I might build a soft rock but uh, national parks on the air next year I'm going into the field with a radio that I built um, right now it's my only option <laughs> so that's it I'll be QRP CW or digital mode you never know but I built a soft rock apparently you can you can do whatever you want into that it'll do sideband and all that stuff so we'll take a look at that but that's where we are guys the pixies alive um, again if you like my videos even though they're horrible with my shaky camera and uh, bad video work and bad lighting I, I don't have the, the setup that I should for for doing videos I'm not doing any editing right now I'll get all that stuff you know figured out right now this is just my progress I'm, um, I guess I'll be in a building slash uh, acquiring the necessary things to get to get NPOTA next year so when the first of January comes I'll be I want to be ready to go all my gear will be tested and ready um, everything will be working uh, in a nice enclosure I'll have you know my little lithium iron phosphate battery ready to go and uh, we'll get on the road QRP and see if we can work DX with some um, some homebrew stuff. I know lots of other guys do it and it's, it's something I really want to do so it'll be nice being out in the national parks. <laughs> we'll call that vitamin DX. Um, being out in the sun getting vitamin D, working DX, vitamin DX. Um, <laughs> that'll be my deal so anyway this video is getting a little bit long so I'll cut it off here and We'll come back and update you guys when we get to the next step, which is getting this thing transmit and code, and I'll show you receive. So, till then, 73, stay tuned. Please subscribe and like. Um, I I started this channel to just to let you know you guys know what I'm up to, um, and that's where it's going. So, please subscribe and like, and and for those that have, thanks, and and stay tuned. We got we got more to come. So, 73 for now, guys.